Hello guys, welcome back to your channel of learning mathematics. <clears throat> now, let us continue with exercise now 5.3. That's a part of the complex numbers and quadratic equations, class 11. Now we have already learned what are complex numbers. And so far, because of the complex numbers, we have learned about an imaginary number, right? imaginary number which was not known to us uh, till the quadratic equations so now we'll continue with a small part of quadratic equations that was left in class 10 if you remember if we have a quadratic equation of the form ax square plus bx equal to 0 then so far that we have learned in our lower classes 9 and 10 is to find out the roots, we know that a quadratic equation is of degree 2. Degree 2. That means it will have two roots or we can call it solutions also. In polynomials, we call them zeros. That means two values of x which will satisfy our quadratic equation. So a polynomial of degree n will have always n number of roots. Now, if we remember the value of the discriminant was b square minus 4ac. Now, <clears throat> knowing the value of the discriminant d equal to b square minus 4ac, we could comment on the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. What I mean is, we calculate, we used to calculate the value of d up to up till then, up to class 10. Then if the value of d is greater than 0, that's a positive number. Then what do we say? Then we used to comment that the roots are real, of course, roots are real and unequal. If d is equal to 0, we would comment that the roots are real and equal. That means the two roots here would be real numbers and of course distinct different or unequal here the roots will be equal then if we have d less than zero that is a negative value then we say simply say that the roots are unreal now for the first two conditions we could also generalize as d greater than or equal to zero then in general we say that the roots are real bus now up till this we used, we have solved in class 10 but when we used to get an equation like this a condition like this where d is less than zero then we simply used to write the roots are unreal why because from the quadratic formula that we have that is x equal to minus b plus or minus root over of d upon 2a if d happened to be a negative value up till our lower classes like 9 and 10 we actually did not know how to find out the value of root over of a negative number like for example minus 25 so that was not taught to us we did not learn about that but now because of the complex numbers and imaginary numbers we know how to calculate this numbers which are not real because now we can write that it is 5 or into i in other words square root of 25 is 5 square into root over of minus 1 so that's 5i so now what we will do is we will just continue with this small part of quadratic equations where the roots were unreal because if the value of d is negative then we have an imaginary value all right so let's continue with um, the remaining part of the quadratic equations in short all right let's the first question that we have from the, this is a small exercise it can be done very quickly okay you already know this it's just a continuation as i said we're just going to continue with that small part that was left undone all right now what we have is for question number one that is x square plus three is equal to zero so for x square plus three equal to zero what do we have we can solve that is x square equal to minus three so x will be root over of minus 3. So if this was in class 10, we do not know how to find out this, isn't it? Plus or minus, right? But now we know that it's going to be plus or minus 3. 
let me just write root 3 into minus 1. This is just for the beginning. Later on, I'm not going to write this. So plus or minus root 3 i. Therefore, the roots of uh, this quadratic equation are x equal to plus root 3 i or minus root 3 i. In class 10, we couldn't do this because the value of i was not learned by us. That's why. Okay. Second one. 2x squared plus x plus 1 equal to 0. So for initially, for the first question, let me just solve. So if we just compare, comparing with our general equation of a quadratic equation, that is x squared plus b plus 0, what is the value of a that we have here? 2. The value of b is 1. The value of c is 1. So let me first calculate the value of d. d is equal to b square minus 4ac. So that will be 1 square minus 4 into a into c. That is 1 minus 4 to 0, 8. That is minus 7, which is less than 0. So of course, the roots are unreal. Class 10, if you remember, we used to stop here. So by, I'll just use quadratic formula. By quadratic formula by quadratic formula what is x x is equal to minus b plus or minus root over of d upon 2a that is what is b oh yeah plus or minus root over of minus 7 upon 2 into what is the value of a 2 so minus 1 plus or minus this one i'm going to write directly that is root 7 i no just like that this one so i'm directly writing i minus root root over of minus 1 as i divided by 4 so i there the value of x is minus 1 plus root 7i upon 4 or x equal to minus 1 minus root 7i upon 4. But you can keep it here also. Not a big problem. Adam say. Okay. Chalo. Done. No? Chalo. Moving on to the next question. Number 3. One, two, three. x square plus 3x plus 9 equal to 0. So chalo. now let's do it directly. Find out the value of d that is b square minus 4ac that is 3 square minus 4 into a into c. So that's 3 square 9 minus 4 9 are 36. So how much will that be? 9 minus 36. How much will that be? 9 minus 36, that's going to be minus 27. So let's use the quadratic formula now. So let's do it directly, okay? That is, therefore, x equal to, in, see, I have already written in this first question now comparing with the quadratic equation d equal to this the roots are unreal so by quadratic formula this 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 happens so i'm going to skip all of this part so as to save some time i'm just going to go straight to the solution in the examination board examinations it'll be good if you can write all these details that'll be much better okay no got it no okay Chalo. So x equal to minus b plus or minus root over of d upon 2a. So minus 3 plus or minus root over of minus 27 upon 2 into 1. That's minus 3 plus or minus 27. That's going to be 27, 3, 9, 3, 3. So 3 root of 3i. Minus 1, minus root, root over of minus 1. I'm taking outside directly i upon 2. Oh yeah, I think that should be enough. You can, if you want, you can write separately also plus, one is minus, but we don't have time to do all of that. No? This is enough actually, number four. Minus x square plus x minus two equal to zero. So let's do it here also. D equal to b square minus four ac, that is b square minus four into a into c. That is 1 minus, 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 plus, minus, 4, 2, 0, 8. That is again minus 7. So x equal to minus b plus or minus root over of d upon 2a. That's going to be minus 1 plus or minus root over of minus 7 upon 2 into minus 1. That's minus 1 plus or minus root 7i. This value of i, write it outside of the root. Okay, Anna, careful with that. Because some students, they, they simply used to write like this also again. Then it's completely wrong. Because i value is root over of minus 1, which we're taking it outside and separately. No? 
माइनस टू हो जाएगा नहीं आई थिंक दैट शुड बी इनफ माइनस वन प्लस वन माइनस रूट सेवन आई बाय टू आई और आई सिंपल ओके सिंपल एक्सरसाइज आई ऑलरेडी टोल यू दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल एक्सरसाइज एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री एक्स प्लस फाइव इक्वल टू जीरो सो अगेन डी इक्वल टू बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर इनटू ए इनटू सी सो दैट्स नाइन माइनस फोर फाइव जस्ट ट्वेंटी दैट इज माइनस इलेवन सो x इक्वल टू माइनस बी प्लस ओ माइनस रूट ओवर ऑफ डी अपॉन टू ए दैट इज माइनस थ्री प्लस ओ माइनस रूट ओवर ऑफ माइनस इलेवन अपॉन टू ए माइनस थ्री प्लस ओ माइनस रूट ओवर ऑफ इलेवन आई अपॉन वाई एम आई राइटिंग टू ए टू ए टू इन टू वन सॉरी दैट्स कॉइन टू बी टू ये भी हो जाएगा बस तो कितना लिखेगा ना ओके ना नंबर सिक्स एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स प्लस टू इक्वल टू जीरो सो डी इक्वल टू माइनस आई मीन बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर इंटू ए इंटू सी वन माइनस फोर टू जर एट अगेन माइनस सेवन देर फोर एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस बी प्लस और माइनस रूट ऑफ रॉफ डी अपॉन टू ए माइनस माइनस बी केयरफुल हेयर अगेन बी इज माइनस वन प्लस माइनस रूट ऑफ रॉफ माइनस सेवन केयरलेसनेस शुड बी अवॉइडेड ओके आई एम ऑल्सो वेरी केयरलेस ऑफ कोर्स I mean, should be avoided. We would try to avoid, na. No? But this is also done. Number six is also done. One plus or minus root seven i by two. Okay. Shall we move on to the next question? Na, no? chalo. Six is done. I can just change my pen. Seven. Root two x square. Plus x plus root two equal to zero, so d equal to b square minus four ac. So b square minus four into a into. Don't tell me that we're going to get seven again. One minus four root two root two two again minus seven. They were fond. They are fond. They were fond of minus seven or one. Uh, therefore, x equal to minus b plus or minus root over of d upon two a. Minus b plus or minus root over of minus seven upon two root two, minus one plus or minus root seven i, two root two. हो गया. I'm dealing with root seven, root seven everywhere. No, no, what up? Number eight. Root three x square minus root two x plus three root three equal to zero. Hopefully, I think we will not get root seven again. B square minus four ac. That's b square minus four into a into c. So minus square two two minus four three is a twelve into three thirty six. So that's minus thirty four. Therefore, finally. We don't have a seven here again. X equal to minus b plus or minus root over of d upon two a. So that's minus b minus root two plus or minus root over of minus thirty four upon two into root three. So that's root over of two plus or minus thirty four root over i upon two root three. Thirty four. I think we cannot uh, factorize, isn't it? So yeah, that's it. Root two plus or minus root over thirty four upon two. Ah, by three. Number nine. X square plus x plus one by root two equal to zero. So again, d equal to b square minus four into a into c. So one minus four by root two. We can rationalize this. One minus four by root two into root two root two. We can do it directly also. Those who can, okay. I'm just showing for everyone. Divided by root two into root two, two two ones are two, two twos are four. One minus two root over of two. So definitely, this is also going to be a negative value because one minus two root two. So that's like two point one four, one point four one four, two into one point four one four. So definitely, that's going to be two point something. So one minus two point one value, some value two is greater. So definitely, it's going to be negative. Got it now. Therefore, x is equal to minus b plus or minus root over of d upon two a. So that's minus b plus or minus root over of one minus two root two upon two into a. 
Now, if you want this value of i, what we can do is minus, we can leave it here also, no problem, I don't see any problem there. But if you just want the value of i, at minus root a uh, root over of minus one I can take a negative sign common here so minus two root two will become two root two plus one will become minus one upon two so that looks uh, much more better that is two root two minus one this minus root over of minus one I'll take it outside as i upon two oh yeah done <coughs> All right, let's move on to another question. Let me take a shorter paper. Chalo. Number 10. X squared plus X upon root 2 plus 1 equal to 0. So the value of D is equal to B square. What is the value of B here? Let me just write down since this is the last question. A is 1, B is 1 by root over of 2, C is 1. So D equal to B square minus 4AC. So that's B square minus 4 into A into C. 1 by 2 minus 4. So that's going to be 2, 1 minus 8, minus 7 by Therefore, x equal to minus b plus or minus root over of d upon 2a. That's minus b minus 1 by root over of 2 plus or minus root over of minus 7 by 2 divided by 2 into a. So that will be minus 1 by root 2 plus or minus this one. What I can do is. Uh, okay, let me just write on the step for you. That is root over of minus 7 by root over of 2 divided by 2. That will be again common LCM. We can have no root over of 2 upon 2 minus 1 plus or minus minus root 7 root over of minus 7. I, I will write as 7 i root 2 root 2 common LCM. So this will be brought down. So that will be minus 1 plus or minus root 7 i divided by 2 root I hope you've got that simple mathematics minus 1 plus or minus uh, root 7 i upon 2 root 2 got it just have a look I think that's all fine Alright, so that's it for this exercise. There's nothing much there. Simple exercise. I hope you have learned a lot from this uh, small video. Alright then, see you in the next video. Take care. Study well. Bye-bye.